All right, guys, before today's episode actually starts, the owners of the server just let me know that we can give away two legendary plus bundles on today's video. So again, if you guys do want to enter in that, come check out the server with royal.mindlucky.net. Java and Bedrock compatible, by the way. Drop a like on the video and then just comment your IGN down below to enter in that. The winners are going to be picked in the next episode. Also, the start of the world uh, bundle winner is in this video. It's just a little bit later into the video. And if you guys can't tell by the title, I don't even know if this is making it in the title, but this is a brand new versus series now. We are going up against a server owner slash YouTuber. So I mention it later in the video, but if you guys want to comment hashtag Team Royal, every comment I see with hashtag Team Royal in it, I'm going to be leaving a heart unless it's like you, you say something crazy in the comment. I don't really know. But yeah, anyways, enter in the giveaway. There is giveaways in the Discord as well. So make sure you guys join the Mind Lucky Discord. Also linked down below in the description. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the actual Let's Play video. Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for another episode of the Mine Lucky Prison series. And guys, there has been uh, some updates for this series. I don't know if it's gonna be in the title or not. I don't think it's going to be, but this Mine Lucky series has actually turned in to a bit of a versus series it's not going to be like anything crazy competitive because we're starting it super late but i didn't even know that the youtuber we're going up against was going to make let's plays on here but before we get into that if you guys do want to come check out the mind lucky prison server java and bedrock compatible please consider using the custom ip royal.mindlucky.net because whenever you guys use this ip it does directly support me in the channel so i greatly appreciate it and for any bedrock players the bedrock port and the bedrock Bedrock IP are going to be linked down below in the description because you guys can hop on and play the same exact server. Now, let's actually hop into it. First of all, this episode, we are going to be making hopefully a decent amount of progress. Right now, we're only rank 400, which for me, um, isn't really good at this point in the season. You guys know I've been super, super busy this map, but I have still been playing. And now that we have a official versus series going on, you guys know I don't lose my versus series, okay? I don't lose my ones. If I lose a versus series, um, it's usually like team based and you know the other guy gets carried okay but we have officially started a versus series against the owner of the server and also a youtuber you guys probably know him or know of him i don't know if you guys know but like he's been back recording minecraft for like the past few weeks we are going up against the youtuber i make mc vids originally um he is a hcf youtuber so if we somehow lose to an hcf youtuber on prisons i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be embarrassing okay so there's just no shot i'm allowing that to happen but i make i know is like super super busy he does like uh, other channels and stuff on top of minecraft he owns this server actually which i'm not sure if a lot of you know that but anyways i know he's super super busy which is why i'm also doing like two versus series at once now it's not like i have the most time in the entire world to just grind out and it's gonna be like an absolute smoke show okay so hopefully this should make the series a little bit more competitive i think we're just going off who can become a higher rank so let me go to the end of i makes first episode real quick and see what rank he actually got to because again i'm only rank 400 this is episode three but rank 400 isn't high in the slightest so guys really quickly skipping over to the end of his first episode and this was recorded a couple days ago i do believe i mean yeah it was uploaded a couple days ago he is already rank like 300 basically so he could easily be past me right now oh let's take a look at his pickaxe hold on gotta see this run that back run that back buddy so max token collector yeah all of these are pretty easy to max out infinity snap that's not maxed oh my god bro look at his charms he got the jackhammer augmentation charm pet stamina charm and then the thanos gauntlet how the hell does he even have three slots of charms bro i don't know max jackhammer 750 essence super basic okay honestly i think my pickaxe is better oh no it is because i have nuke but this video was recorded a couple days ago so we a hundred percent have some grinding that we have to go ahead and do in today's episode because i don't actually know where he's at at this current time as i'm recording this so in today's video of course obviously we are going to be hitting rank 500 and at rank 500 we are going to unlock the best enchant on the entire server for tokens at least i don't think i make actually knows all the metas on here and i feel like i kind of do or not all of the metas definitely not all of them but i know an enchant that is super super good for ranks it's just gonna take a fat minute to one unlock it and then two upgrade it but this season we're gonna be seeing who can get to a higher rank by the end of the series and maybe next map if i make plays next map maybe we could each like recruit a gang or like a cell and see who can actually place high 
entire on gang top i feel like that would be dope we could get the viewers involved we could both invite a full entire cell and you guys could choose your side obviously you know team royal would be winning i'm not gonna cap but you know if some of you switched over to i make as long as it wasn't like exo blades we might have to ban that guy from the series if we do do it i don't know i definitely think it could be fun so in today's episode like i have said we are going to be making as much progress as possible we did just unlock nuke in the last episode and we have also unlocked quest seeker I only have 750 trillion tokens, haven't mined too much off camera, and also, I somehow have an OP pet egg, a rare pet egg, and three black market crates in my inventory. I'm assuming a crate key all or something, like some sort of event, because I have been AFKing on the server literally 24-7, which means my robots are putting in work. I haven't even checked, but we should have a ton of tokens in there. For right now, though, I definitely want to save the majority of my tokens for this enchant right here, Royal Rumble. You guys can see we already have it at level 500 out of 500 but there is a charged variant. I've already hit the blocks required. I literally just need the rank requirement, which is rank 500. We are currently rank 420, basically. Also, I do think I was actually supposed to pick a winner of a start of the world bundle from the last episode. So I'm going to throw the winner on the screen right now. If you see your IGN on the screen and you have already logged on to the server, then you should have the bundle as soon as you log in. But if you didn't log on to the server, then uh, I'm not going to lie. You just sold your own bag. Also in today's video, if I can, I would love to fight some of my bosses bosses that i got for my first episode i literally have three and the bosses do have a chance to like give you charm boxes and stuff and right now i have a mythic key charm which is not good at all especially if i make has like the jackhammer the pet stamina and the thanos gauntlet his charms are way better than mine by far oh my god and look at this bro if you just do slash leaderboard you can see everybody's rank on the entire server so it's time to find out where the hell i make actually is i didn't know you could do this we could get live updates that is sick so i'm currently ranked uh 90th on the server like i said you know i've been super busy that is definitely not good but wait a minute bro what, what does i make mc's head look like no shot he's above me right now right if he's above me bro we're down horrendous i'm right here did i pass over i make Okay, I had to have passed him because right now, this is ranked 2K and I haven't seen his name. If he's above 2K, on God, next Prisons episode, bro, I'm literally mooning the entire audience because there is absolutely no shot. Great. I actually don't think he's progressed at all since his first episode. So he is right here at rank 259. This is the perfect time to build the gap because I know he's busy, but I am very busy as well. So if I can just build the gap and then, you know, not even have to worry about it for a few days, that would be amazing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and open up these black market crates really quickly and see if we pull anything of significance, right? OGV kit, actually, that one is terrible. Ooh, OP pet egg though is absolutely massive. We'll claim this OGV kit, um, 750 metal scraps. It's just so terrible, bro. But that reminds me, can we actually do something? v kit and claim our halloween available oh my god so i don't know if you guys know this but i did win the permanent version of the halloween v kit in the very first episode so that is going to give us another three arcane loot boxes let's go ahead and see what we get out of these what is oh gems gems isn't great and it's only five mil oh what is that rubies we take that 10k rubies is amazing we might be able to purchase an armor set and then 6k metal scraps very good as well big currency boxes honestly super super mid rewards out of these yeah don't even care let's open up these rare pet eggs and we are praying for a combination pet okay i don't have any combination pets this season yet and literally yeah these are my only pets bro i need to get some combinations going and right here wait what pet is that oh that's the torpedo bro i literally thought that was the royal pet i almost geeked but uh, the tornado pet or torpedo pet is a brand new fishing pet so i'm not sure if you even or if i even want to fish anymore because now you get keys while mining so we might actually try and sell this so whatever um didn't get any combination pets which is what we wanted but we have a chance to get them out of these op pet eggs as well and of course we have a chance to win the royal pet as well so let's go ahead i'm opening these up one at a time man because these are the best pet eggs on the entire server and oh my god wait one thing i completely forgot to show off what the hell is that scrap dog dude i'm not gonna lie that's ass not a good win at all let's open up one last one the only one we have whoa royal sell me your rubies hold on this could be a play guys exo blitz just told me the going rate of like 100k rubies and it was 75 quadrillion tokens i feel like that's maybe a little bit too overpowered i'm not gonna lie to you so for right now guys you know let me let me progress on my own a little bit just so it doesn't look like i'm an absolute freeloader okay even though that is like that's the economy you can take advantage of that as a player which i've literally done it 
before. But now, actually, let me go ahead and show you guys the slash milestones. Again, completely forgot to show this off in the last episodes, but slash milestones is a brand new update here. And as you guys can see, you get free rewards from just ranking up, breaking blocks on the server. 7.2k metal scraps is actually helpful. So is 3.6k. The big currency boxes, armor, keys, junior, pet egg. Those aren't really going to help me. But again, these are all just the beginning like ranks and stuff, beginner milestones. Because at rank 500, we are going to get a free black market crate again. So definitely make sure you guys are checking all of your slash milestones. But with all of those rewards being claimed, I think we're good to just go ahead, take a cut and hit a bit of a grinding spree for today's episode i have like so much content to watch bro like i have i have movies i want to watch the brand new outer bank season just dropped like i am here and i am now ready to properly grind and actually before we take a cut i think we might be able to afford one of the op armor sets so let me do slash robot i haven't looked at my robots but to afford this set we need at least a hundred thousand rubies in our collection so boom 95k wait no, that's almost enough. We have 95,000 rubies, 8.2 quadrillion tokens is absolutely nuts. And we are literally like 600 rubies off of affording one of the OP armor sets. And you guys should already know which armor set I'm going to be going for. And just like that, farmed all the way out to 200.6K. Honestly, we make terrible rubies from mining, but these scrolls that we just get from Quest Seeker are going to start helping a ton. Like watch, if I claim all of these, 200 rubies right there, 97, 158 right there. But also the armor that we are about to purchase is also going to help because this Forger's Chainmail is going to give us a multiplier to rubies and the most important thing, especially in this versus series, rank XP. Oh my. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, next upgrade cost 300,000. I thought the set cost 300,000. So boom, equip. Now we have the chain armor on and we are going to be getting a buff to our rank XP and our ruby XP. So we are good to go ahead and go on a bit of a grinding spree. Honestly, I'm going to cut back once we hit rank 500 because obviously that's whenever we're going to get the charged royal rumble. But we are making ranks super, super slow at the moment. I think we just need to get more in chance that like uh destroy blocks and stuff i think that's how you rank up faster so yeah let me take a cut we got to gain like uh 38 ranks right here i will see you guys in one second and just like that i think in like 20 or 30k raw blocks we are now rank 500 so let's go ahead take a look at the royal rumble and charge this thing immediately do we have enough tokens to max this thing out immediately oh it's looking like we do boom only 1.9 quadrillion for the best enchant on the entire server feels like an absolute steal bro now we did also unlock essence right here which is a very very good enchant we can kind of skip coupon ledger we don't care about that over time increases the chance of rocking any destructive enchant that is actually going to be pretty good but for right now we might just want to max out nuke nuke is super expensive let's actually max out quest seeker first and then i guess we go for nuke i'm trying to look like wait haven't we already charged this did we not charge oh my god i didn't charge token collector dude what am i doing i honestly don't use my bomb so we'll charge it because it's just like 12 trillion who cares super super cheap and tokens bonanza also wasn't maxed out so let's go ahead 2.5 quadrillion to max that out and now we will throw the rest into nuke and that's only level 87 out of 100 but i'm not done mining just yet i am recording this clip like super late at night so the next clip is probably going to be tomorrow morning but at rank 550 we unlock a gem enchant that is i mean this is the best gem enchant on the entire server zookeeper activate all pets in your hotbar for a short duration now ideally we do eventually want to get some combination pets i am not going to lie to you but let's go ahead and see if we can get a charged royal rumble proc if you guys have watched any like series of mine lucky before you guys already know how good this thing actually is so this right here is a regular royal rumble proc but the charged one is going to have a bunch of emerald blocks in it and basically that just makes the entire layer more expensive more loot it is literally just way better but right now we also don't even have charged jackhammer either we won't unlock that until rank a thousand that is not going to be in today's episode and yeah obviously that is going to go extremely well with a charged royal rumble i wonder if there's a royal rumble uh like charm because if there is that thing would be insanely overpowered okay guys for some reason i cannot get a charged proc for the life of me i've gotten like six regular royal rumble procs i don't know if my pickaxe is glitched at the moment or what the hell's going on but like i said it is kind of late at night so i might just take a cut right here i'll bring you guys back in the next clip probably gonna be tomorrow morning whenever we are rank 550 and unlock the zookeeper enchant 
And guys, we are now back. And like I said, it is the complete next day. Thank God. Because it was dumb late at night as the last clip was recorded. But guys, we have been on the absolute grind. Or honestly, not even too much. I didn't mind for that long after the last clip. Because again, super late at night. But the thing is, we are now finally starting to progress a decent amount. We're almost rank 800. And I don't know. First things first, we have 6.3 quadrillion tokens. Again, we're finally starting to make tokens from just purely mining, which where before it was all coming from our robots or like crates and stuff. So now 6.3 quadrillion, definitely not bad at all. But the thing is now our ranks are flying up. I don't know if that's from charged Royal rumble. Like, I don't know if that enchant actually helps you level up faster or rank up faster. I mean, I just know it makes you a ton of tokens. And as you guys can see, Oh, we just got a proc right here. This is the charged Royal rumble layer, bunch of emerald blocks, and then a bunch of redstone blocks as well. All I do mine at the bottom, try to get myself a jackhammer proc to clear the entire layer. The only thing that does kind of suck is we don't have a combination pet. Usually if you get one of those layers, you want to have a combination pet proc. So that way you can go ahead and get all of the boost whenever you farm that entire layer with jackhammer. But of course, off camera, we have also gotten to the zookeeper enchant right here. And we actually have enough to max this thing out. So boom, zookeeper is fully maxed out end game. I do kind of think end game was such a mid enchant. So, I mean, it's not like I had a lot of gems left anyway. We got four levels out of 100 of endgame but listen so far this episode has been a massive w we have made a ton of progress off camera and i think i kind of do want to go fight at least one boss in today's episode but before we do that my pickaxe is already level 813 so that does kind of mean we should have a bunch of enchants that we can upgrade the only thing is we don't have a lot of tokens wait i also did just hit a brand new slash milestone oh i hit a couple of these things let's go ahead grab all of this stuff and there was a black market crate all on on the server so we can actually open these up right now as well so let's go ahead and grab these the key all was just on like earlier in the day they gave us like all three black market crate loot boxes so again if you guys do play the server i would highly recommend going to slash warp afk and just afk so that way if you guys do miss the key alls you can just uh you know hop back on and they will be in your inventory as long as you were afk um what did we get by the way generic pet egg um 10 trillion tokens absolutely useless final one right here 10k rubies honestly that's not that bad of a win i think we might try and sell our rubies right now because right now i have thirty-five thousand. it's not a ton but rubies i think are selling for 400 trillion tokens per 1k so i just went ahead and messaged exoblades if he wants to buy thirty-five thousand rubies i know exoblades isn't gonna scam me on the price i don't even know how much that's gonna be but this trade is hopefully gonna give me a lot of tokens that i can actually use on my pickaxe because right now 6.7 quadrillion isn't gonna go far and wait what did this guy just message me wait you want to buy some tokens for rubies i can do 1.5k for one quadrillion i think that is the price but but I messaged Exoblades. Is bro gonna message me back or not? Oh, Exoblades said, if you put rubies up, I'm going to buy. But the thing is, I don't know the price. Oh, it's one quadrillion per 1K now. Jesus Christ, we're about to get 35 quadrillion. Oh my God. How the hell do I AH, bro? I gotta figure this out immediately. Your listings. um, Guys, I don't... Can you withdraw uh, rubies? Boom, there we go. The command is withdraw 35K ruby. And then AH sell 35 quadrillion token okay wait wait maybe it's token 35 quadrillion sorry guys i have never really used ah all right buddy wait what the hell bro my name is a chat game i didn't even know that was a thing that's actually kind of sick though do i have to type out all of the zeros maybe wait age sell 170 quadrillion tokens token okay guys i finally figured out the command jesus christ you actually have to type in all of the zeros so we just put it in there because he exo said screw it he'll buy it for two quadrillion per 1k so i threw uh what was it thirty five thousand on there hopefully he buys it here soon does he even have enough i didn't actually check but of course bro has 540 quadrillion tokens and boom it just sold right there now i have 76 quadrillion to spend on the pickaxe which is a grip of tokens right here so let's go ahead and see what should we get oh quest seeker can we charge this oh we can't we need like seven thousand more blocks or something like that so let's take a look at essence i would definitely love some levels of essence right here because essence is just really good it's just really expensive but boom we upgraded that a fat amount we can skip coupon ledger over time over time's a great enchant we can max this thing out boom done destruction i don't think destruction is actually that good in my opinion seems slightly overrated so uh we're gonna dump like six quadrillion into black hole maybe like another three quadrillion because black hole is also super expensive and at level a thousand we are gonna unlock acid rain which is an insanely good enchant and then like four 
42 levels right there. I still have 30 quadrillion tokens. What the hell do I buy? I would love charge jackhammer and like charge quest seeker, but I don't have the requirements for that yet. I don't know if I should save them for like the next episode because next episode we're hitting rank 1000 and it seems like we're going to be unlocking a grip of enchants. So I might honestly just do that because I know charged jackhammer is dumb expensive guys. But now our pickaxe should be going pretty crazy and we should actually be gaining a lot more ranks whenever these enchants actually proc. So listen guys, I think for this episode, we made a ton of progress. Next video, we're going to be hitting rank 1000 and I'm probably going to be showing off the crazy enchant that is going to make us a ton of ranks and definitely put the gap on I make. Let me just get one last jackhammer proc on this if I can, you know, get it to actually proc. Hello? Boom. There we go. Finally. All right. That's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. Some of you guys are new. Next video, we're hitting rank 1000. We're fighting at least two of our bosses, I want to say. Praying to God we get charm boxes out of that. And yeah, hashtag Team Royal in the comments. You guys already know the vibes. Drop a like. Some of you guys are new. Come check out the server and I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Prisons Now Versus series.